But first, Knicks Sixers rookie Kevin Knox throwing down the monster slam over Ben Simmons. Second straight night somebody does this to Ben Simmons, man. Jason Tatum, night before last, Kevin Knox. He got to eat that big fella. Knox, after a slow start with the Knicks, man, is starting to show some of that promise coming from Kentucky. Man, backdoor cut here. What a finish. That, that is outstanding. Should have tried to take a charge. No. It would have no, been better. No, no, no. Cavs Nets. Somebody Whoa. finally put Jared Allen on a poster. Marquise Chris with the tomahawk. All right, let's watch this again. Marquise Chris bounced around the league. Our guy Jared Allen. Listen, this is going to happen when you're the best dunk blocker in the league. You got, Sometimes you can come up snake eyes. We went for it. Marquez Chris. Oh, no he got star. a good piece of yeah. that one. Too much Look force. The, the basics, though, Nick. You got to be a three, a, 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 a triple threat. Oh, yeah. Pump fake. Let's get him up. Hey. And I'm coming down with this it. Carter, the Tom Amansky for basketball. Clippers oh, on, and man. Suns. Big Kelly fun. Oubre throwing down an aggressive dunk over Ivaka Zubac. Zubac actually had a pretty good game for the Clips last night. As the Clips get another win, I thought they were done trying to win. It's becoming annoying, Clippers. You traded away your best player. This is a nice little play for the Suns. One of their 11 nice plays this season. The Suns are on our highlight reel more times than they have wins. <laughs> yes. That's for real. Finally, some defense here. You don't see this often. James Harden getting shut down. Josh and Kogi goes, goes and gets it. I mean, he basically palms it up top. They had two amazing exchanges back to back where he handled Harden. Now, Harden was doing his thing. Harden still got his 42. So of course. Uh, the, <laughs> they made him work for it. Made him work for it and beat him, by the way, which yes, is um, helpful as well. Another nice one for the Timberwolves. All right, moving on. Big NFL news yesterday. Joe Flacco is headed to Denver in return for what's reported to be a fourth round pick. The former Super Bowl MVP's deal goes through 2021 but has no guaranteed money left. Flacco was the odd man out in Baltimore this season when the Ravens turned to Lamar Jackson. So John Elway bringing in yet another quarterback in what has become a carousel of mediocrity at the position. CC, what do you make of this trade in Denver well, for Joe first, Flacco? First, I know because a, a lot of the optics and commentary will be on Denver. I got to give credit to Baltimore. Baltimore, since the end of the season, let's look at, at what they've done. After a very good playoff run, and that defense was outstanding, the nation could finally see, man, that Baltimore, they really have a good defense. Lamar Jackson improving every snap along the way, only going to get more confidence. Removing the Super Bowl champion quarterback out of that locker room, all right, next to Lamar Jackson, removing him. So now Lamar, I talked to him at the Super Bowl, and man, he's so excited about the offseason, getting able to work with the Ravens and their staff, their wide receivers, getting better in the passing game, realizing those things need to happen. And not have to fight for a job. Not have to worry about it. It is a huge relief. You can say what you want. I want to be a good teammate. Oh, yeah, I, it's nice to have him around. Man, get that guy out of here, man. Right. So I can flourish. If it's really my team, this guy has Super Bowl experience, great Super Bowl memories. These fans, he brought them a Super Bowl. Like, they're not going to forget that. So Baltimore, man, hand clap for them because they did an awesome job of giving their franchise quarterback a lot of confidence. As for Denver? Hey, Denver, John Elway. John Elway, I'm going to let you pick every other position on the team. <laughs> and there's a lot of them. Bro. This is insane. I mean, we're going to keep 60 players on the roster. But, John, <laughs> I just need you. Leave the quarterbacks alone. Now, I do like the fact you didn't spend a high draft pick being a fourth. Okay. For a guy who can be a starter, I can understand. I like the fact he doesn't have any guaranteed money. So if he gets there, you don't like him. You can cut them. But, you're, but no, no, no. This, in my opinion, this year is essentially guaranteed. You don't trade a fourth-round pick to not have him on the team this okay. year. Okay, but you don't have to because there is no sure. guaranteed money. Now, it's not a great trade, but... Look where they are. I thought they were a year removed from that. I thought when you sign Case Keenum, you know what you're getting. You're not shopping at Whole Foods. You're shopping at the local grocery store. Aldi. The produce, wrong the produce. Aldi, but it's Aldi. Listen, <laughs> it, it, the, the produce will spoil on you before. Whole Foods, you got a little more of a guarantee. Hey, listen, okay. This is you, Case Keenum. You, listen, you have Wait, been. Jenna, I'm so didn't sorry. didn't get much protection See, hold, last year. I'm not on, making Hold a on a second. Hold on a second. Because you've been far too diplomatic here. John Elway has made repeatedly horrific decisions at the quarterback position. Okay, he got Peyton Manning, hand clapped. He drafted Brock Osweiler, 
with Russell Wilson on the board, that was terrible. The, what the best thing, listen, in Brock Osweiler's defense, he's six foot eight. He then tried to give Brock Osweiler $15 million a year after seeing him play, got bailed out by the Texans giving him more. He then doubled down on that by trading up for Paxton Lynch. Paxton Lynch never played any quality snaps in the NFL, but in his defense, he's six foot five. And now you trade a fourth round pick for Joe Flacco, who has been the worst starting quarterback in the NFL for the last five years. But in his defense, he's six, six foot, foot six. six. Okay, like this is, you sign Case Keenum, to a deal that is sticky to get out of after one year. Mm -hmm. Case Keenum is exactly who Case Keenum had been every year of his career, except for the outlier year in Minnesota, and you decide that's not good enough. So here's the guy you, tra by the way, Joe, there was, you had to rush to the market for Joe Flacco. Okay, that's this playoff run that got him his contract. That's everything since the playoff run. The years and years of starting. You, By the way, you see those numbers in yellow? The yeah. yards per pass, yeah. touchdown interception ratio, passer rating? That represents dead last in the NFL in every single category. He's terrible. And contrary to what some people would tell you, being a Super Bowl winning quarterback, it's not like a power up in a video game where in some in some big spot you can all of a sudden activate a magical shield. Like, well, hey, it's a big playoff game. Activate that Super Bowl winning quarterback power that you've been saving on. It does nothing for you. Steve Young's a Super Bowl winning quarterback. I wouldn't want him on my team in 2019 either. This is ridiculous. It's a terrible move that you didn't have to make. And by the way, on the bright side, see, you know, how many teams in the NFL will have more cap space allocated to their quarterback this year than the Denver Broncos? Only the New Orleans Saints. The Broncos will have the second most expensive quarterback room because you're paying 10 million to Case on the cap not to play, 19 million to Flacco to try to play, and whoever your backup's going to be. It is, this is, if I'm a Broncos fan, I'm so angry. What, what, what were they afraid of? That he's going to get cut and there's going to be a rush to give him a multi-year deal that you if he's cut what does he sign for one year 12 million and you don't give up a pick i don't i don't get it i don't get it i don't get it We're what what do you think john elway thinks he's getting out of joe flacco a tall guy uh, um i think he's going to try to resurrect a deep passing game i mean they don't also have the type of speed at wide receiver that would say okay let me go out and get if i had two or three guys emmanuel sanders yeah i got a lot of respect for his game he's a quality wide receiver has been at a pro bowl level but you need two or three guys with speed joe flacco what has he been known for throwing the ball deep down the field so if I'm not going to put off, now they do have a good running game. That offensive line's got to get a lot better because he is getting ready to get hit in the mile high. He better get him a prescription dispensaries oh. because he's getting ready to have some body pain. Joe Flacco is not going to be able to move in the pocket. I mean, that is the best thing about Denver is their bright young running back. How many times are they going to give him the ball next year to be able to set up Joe, play action down the field because Nick didn't point this out. That is what he does best based on what the, and, and contrary to what, I, that wasn't on the graph. Well, you know what, and, and the thing Joe Flacco, and I'm not being smart, smart aleck here, he does better than any quarterback in the league, is drawing pass interference penalties on deep, t on deep pass that does not account in quarterback rating. You don't get credit for that. Maybe you should. They, the Ravens are always one of the best or had been at the long, the 60-yard pass interference penalty. Being. And the reason why is typically he has a little more arc on the football. So the defensive backs, the timing of it is not necessarily there. They're used to the ball arriving a little early. So in drawing contact with the wide receiver, that's the comp. It's not a skill. Right. It's just how Joe throws. And he throws it deep. But Jenna, to your point, I know you were kind of joking when you brought up Case. Listen, the Broncos' two best offensive linemen got hurt last year. They traded away Demarius Thomas. Emmanuel Sanders missed time. And Case Keenum played to his career averages across the board. If that wasn't a good enough level of play, given the circumstances from Case, then signing Case was a travesty. Like, if, when you signed Case to two years, $36 million, with over $20 million guaranteed, it was a one-year rental, then you can't structure the contract to where it's going to be 5% of your total cap to cut him in year two. But that's not what they thought, obviously. They thought he was the answer. Well, Clearly. I'm just going to tell you, if you, when you're looking at Case Keenum, you have to realize that when you, you, you are looking for a quarterback. But I might sign him for a short-term deal, but I can't stop looking for a quarterback.
Mm -hmm. because he is not going to stabilize a franchise. Like, that's just unrealistic. Like, you get Case Keenum until, man, I need you to patch up my tires until I get me some new tires. Mm -hmm. Like, he's, no, he, you can't go a long way with him. Their situation last year and the dollars they signed him for, that was a good deal by John Elway. Signing Case Keenum was the better deal, out, the second best quarterback deal besides Peyton Manning showing up on his doorstep. But, but then keep him. Then keep him for this year because he played. Case Keenum played like Case Keenum. Don't don't allocate more of your cap and a fourth round pick for Joe Flacco. I, I just don't, I don't cover a patch with another patch. Since they won the Super Bowl, he has been by every statistical category the worst starting quarterback in football. That's yeah. not. It, there's no denying it. I, I don't get it. You but he's what, tall. You know he's what tall. John Elway's doing? He just wants to make sure that that he he's, is the greatest. Broncos quarterback that ever mm -hmm. uh, well, lived. He's got that covered. He, he definitely has it covered, seemingly. Coming up is Paul George, now the front runner for MVP. We'll tell you who thinks so. Next up, first things first. Did he score 100 last night or something?